Hello. Sounds good to me. I wasn't even talking. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put on my stats soon screen. Have I done that before? Have I forgot to put on my stats soon screen before? I don't know. But anyway. Yes. Does it sound fine? Sound good? Want to make sure before I start, you know? Definitely? Okay, perfect. It's good to know. You don't need to stick around if you don't want to. So this is a very sort of horde battle game where you just cut through like hundreds of people uh, in every in every level. It does not make a difference what level it is. There's different types of troops, of course, like the little ones you can cut through easily, but like it goes up and up and up until bosses, which are more important. Uh, I will be muting during cutscenes just because I do actually like the cutscenes of this game. Uh, all right, I don't see why we don't s why not start then. Give me a sec. Gonna lie, I thought these were voiced. Like, not gonna lie, I really thought these were voiced cutscenes. We must find the reborn spirit of the hero. We will f That sentence confused me. Oh, there's Lank, the only different one of all the characters. <laughs> You don't often see wooden spears for training. You often see wooden swords, like, not spears. That's a new one. You know, like, in like games like Kingdom Hearts, if there's training. Your Highness, you'd see, like, wooden swords. Or the monsters that marching towards Hyrule Castle. And to prepare the troops for battle. I like Zelda's hair in this one. What she wasting her time with us for the great. I give up on life. Why? What? Why? What happened? Oh wait, there is voiced parts of this. I remember now. It's just not every part. Is it tro yeah, 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 like, rough, like, I know of it. These just give you tips, by the way, for mini-maps and stuff. Oh, so we're not starting with a voice fit, okay. Last man stand gets 100 bucks. Oh, were you, like, second last or something? This is your first actual mission, by the way. So it's B to dash and Y to attack. That's all I really remember. Second foot to- oh, okay. Oh, that is so- oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, so when enemies that grayed out, like these ones here, are like gray, that means they're uh, they're, they're done for. Bigger enemies of health bars, like this bigger Bacoblin. Uh, you see the map? These crystals are outposts. They don't really matter. Uh, L to target big enemies. The outposts don't really matter. It's more uh, base, uh, bases, which are like... Like in here, you see this like square room. That's a base. And then the blue castle down here is my main base. And the red castle is the enemy's main base. If my base fall, Like if our main base falls, I lose instantly. Oh yeah, the fairy guide's name in this game is Proxy. Which I find very odd. I like it though. Yeah, you see you have a level down the bottom right. Uh, your A button is like a special attack. 
Uh, it gets charged up as you attack people. It's pretty strong. Uh, and you can get a bunch of chaos if you line up. Like, each character has their own, like, sp has their own special attack. It's not all, it's not all that thing. And up the top by the map, you see it says at risk. That means that specific force is at risk of falling to the enemy's side. Uh, other things will pop up up there, like, you don't need to pay too much attention to them, just like, make sure your main one doesn't fall. Uh, and the, uh, and back. And books. The perv oh, that sucks. Is it act, uh, and yeah, you'll see, it'll tell you every so often where you need to go. Now, is it actually a permaban, or is it like a, like, not an actual permaban? Now, this is actually Volvagia of this game? Volga, sorry, not Volvagia. I don't remember their names. Uh, yeah, L is Targa. Oh, yeah, or is just change the enemy being Targa, but that doesn't matter right now. Oh, that little bear above his head. That's like a weak point gauge. You see that special attack I just did there? Uh, you can do that when an enemy's weak point gauge is empty. There we go. Uh, that attack. Is what you can do when a weak point gauge is empty. But wait, I'm surprised I'm doing this well. I don't think he hit... I haven't played this game in months. People on the oh, that sucks. I am so sorry. God. <laughs> well, you always welcome here. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, no, but I'm gonna mute my mic during the voiced cutscenes. I actually don't know who voices the stuff I'm talking about. I like their voice, though. The voice is pretty. Hate life. Oh, no, don't say that. How dare you. Oh, yeah, you see when a boss is retreated. Do you must play games? Um, not often. Slash does... I don't have many, to be honest. Uh, I don't actually have that many, like, multiplayer games. Like, online multiplayer, I'm assuming is what you mean. Because I don't, like, know enough people to do, like, an actual multiplayer game. Oh, yeah, you'll see Gorons and stuff are also on the map, like, depending on who you're playing as. Oh, yeah, uh, on the right of the screen, middle right. You'll see, uh, there's one guy I have to kill, which is the red marker, and one guy I have to protect, which in this case is the Goron captain that I have to protect. You can see them on the map, they'll be highlighted if I just run away by that little target mark. That's usually what you have to do. Go. I haven't. I want to eventually, but I don't know. Not currently, at least. But I do want to eventually. Magic is another thing I'll get into. It's the green bar on the top left, rather than the yellow bar on the top left. The mine entrance is now okay, so we go down to the mine. It tells you what you have to do quite well, by the way. I pressed the wrong button. Your viewing pleasure. <laughs> I believe Cool can see back in the chat, no? Oh my god. So, right, I, like, showcased a bit of my uh, Mar Mario Odyssey mod that I'm doing in, like, a modding Discord that I'm in. And I got, I got, a, I got a few compliments by, like, people who make mods. And I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, freak. Okay, so yeah, so, throughout the game, you'll pick up, like, bonus special items you can use, which is in top left in that little circle. There you can see I have the bombs equipped. You you, you can equip different ones. Uh, just like as they go. 
Zelda? Okay, yeah, so you could switch between characters when they become available. You see top left, the highlighted ones are the ones I can change to. Uh, Zelda actually has three little orbs under her A bar. I don't, I don't actually fight as Zelda often, so I don't really know what they. Oh, I remember what they are. There's, there's, they're a special thing just for her character to use. Okay, stop. No. Bad. Oh, Zelda must cat must cat through this keep. Yeah, so you you get uh, so okay. So how keeps work? You see on the right below my map, there's uh, there's like a health bar for the keep. When that health bar, I think it's halfway. I'm trying to remember how much health it's. Uh, it's not completely gone. I don't think is it. Oh yeah, when it gets completely empty. Uh, the keep boss appears, and when you defeat the keep, any enemy that's not like a boss enemy within the keep will actually die. And then it'll become your keep, and guards will spawn in here. Uh, I just collected a material, that's, uh, that's a whole other thing I'll get into when it becomes apparent. There's a lot of explaining at the start of the game, but it, it, it eventually calms down. Yeah, if there's ever, like, if, if, if you're passing through a keep and there's, like, a boss inside the keep, like, or, like, a bigger enemy, like, that big of a problem with the health bar. Um, Josh, you like this game? Do you like the game? Uh, yeah, sorry, so if there's an enemy with a health bar within, like, the keep you're in, like, you want to defeat, like, if if these sort of problems go into it, it's not that big of a but if this guy goes in... Uh, they can, like, the big guys don't die easily from other, uh, from other enemies. Whereas, the little ones do. So, like, sorry. The big Bacoblins won't die easy from, like, your allies, like the guards, the Hylian guards that you have in your keeps. Uh, so they're fine, but the big ones won't die so easy. So you want to sort of get rid of the big guys. Uh... Like in the game, where's the special? I don't remember. Special. Yeah, you want to get rid of the the guy for health bars and keeps if you're in that keep, or if you pass through that keep. That's what you want to do. It just stops the keep from being taken, and then eventually they'll gain ground on your main keep, which no one wants. Yeah, especially like guys like these Lazalfos, you want to kill if they're in a keep. Or near a keep. It, like, if they're, like, heading towards a keep, just get rid of them. Because they'll just become an issue for you. And, like, you can line up these guys to hit many of the bigger enemies. Hey, I didn't do chemistry. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, not, like, not necessarily, not necessarily, like, if a boss one appears, yes, go to that keep and kill it, but that's only if that's your mission, but, like, like, if you run through a keep, like, let's say I come back through the keep I was in a minute ago, if there's a Lazalpos in there, I don't want the keep to fall, so I just kill the... Oh, great, yeah, exactly, exactly, D. Then, yes, that does make sense. And how's great? Yeah, perfect. Uh, okay, yeah, so there's 260 gold skull colors around the world. Uh, you defeat them, you get, like, a little picture, and you get bonuses. Uh, they appear within the spider web on the map, which you can see is on the left of the map, or on the top right. Uh, I'll explain that in a way. So now I want to, like, run over to where that guy is. And, like, like oh, I don't need to do this right now. You can replay any mission later on in the game. Uh, so I don't need to do this right now, but I'll do it just to show you guys so I don't need to explain it later. Wurmple? Uh, remind me to write that down. I'll write it down next time I'm on my... Like, not 
doing it in po Oh, wait, wait. You'll hear a Skulltolo when you're near it, by the way. And then you just slash it. So. I'll explain what that does after the match, because you know... It's just easier for me to explain. Yeah, so like, see, there's a, there's a Lothalfos here, and I'm here. Just kill the Lothalfos, get out of the way. It's just so your guys don't have to worry about it, and you won't lose the base. Whereas you might lose it if the Lothalfos had stayed in there. Uh... Oh yeah, so Lincoln's almost arrived at Fairy Fountain. It would usually be flashing on the map what you need to go to like it is now. See, the Fairy Fountain is in the bottom right. Uh, the game gives you a pretty good direction on where to go during mission. Lizalfo. I just say Lizalfo. I don't know if that's right. When it happens. Uh, if I remember to, I will. But I will tell you if I forget. How about that? That works. It takes a second sometimes. Oh yeah, so you'll see it says defeat the advancing Lizalfos. So I have to change the input because Impa's not doing anything right now. Um And you see it says defeat Lizalfos immediately. Like it'll tell you that if something bad's gonna happen to your bases. Cause like I believe this Lizalfos is technically advancing towards my main base. Is that what's gonna happen? Wait, what did I know was gonna happen? And you just want to get rid of the oppo like the opposing ally. Oh, and you see, like I usually picked up materials from enemies. You see, it'll say material up above my head. That time it said weapon up or weapon acquired or whatever. Like, see, that's material. That time it said weapon up. There's a chance you can get weapons as you're fighting enemies rather than getting. Yeah, see, bottom left is all of a great fairy hero, please. So that the great fairy will activate soon. You could do that if there's enemies near, and there's bombs near, and it'll, like... Ah, see, look! There we go. I could do that when that activates. And the Great Fairy will spawn, and... They basically... You basically ask them to get rid of troops. They're only used in story stuff. If you're doing non-story stuff, which we will get to after I finish the story... Uh... I don't think you ever really use a great fairy in non-story stuff. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. This is what this one does. And if you look at the map really quickly, you'll see, like, all of the north of the map is now free. Like, there's no enemies up in the north of the map right now where it's blinking currently. So great in this game, Great Fairies do things like that. <laughs> and you see down here is a is a base I could technically capture. It's not important right now to capture it. Uh, I will kill this as Alpha just to get its uh, materials. All right, morale. That's a thing I don't pay attention to too much. Uh. Yeah, when morale's high, an enemy will glow, and if not, they look green, sort of. And by doing certain things, or like killing certain... I believe sometimes they're called morale captains. Uh, you will either lower or raise. Like, if you kill a morale... Alright, if you kill a morale captain, or whatever they're called, just someone who's giving morale. Uh, like... If you, so, so if I kill an enemy's morale person, their morale will go down and my enemies and like my teammates' morale will go up. See, and I got the base just cause why not? I was there. <laughs> you can do that and it, and like it will make a difference. See, mostly Chilliba King Dongo. I remember a good bit of this game and if I remember this boss isn't that difficult currently. There's a harder version of it later, but not currently. And sometimes you will see materials just over here. Oh, hey, magic. 
So what magic does? Oh wait, yeah. uh, like in Ocarina of Time, you gotta throw bombs inside the uh, Dodongo's mouth. Okay, I, I'll just read it out here because it's the easiest way to explain it. When you manage means gauge, use the magic ability. I'm not gonna actually say the name of it. Uh, okay. Attack power, speed, incoming knockback damage is reduced, uh, and defeating certain en enemies will yield various bonuses. You can see on the left, it says rupee drops up, XP up. The boss music? Oh, I don't actually know. Uh, press A while under the effects of it to do like a special attack. Uh, so basically, you want to kill a lot of enemies when your magic is full. I could technically go up very north and get the enemy, like, big base. Uh, I don't necessarily need to, and now my magic is active. I don't necessarily need to go up north and get that, but, like, I could. And that's my, like, special attack if I press A early. You do a different attack, actually, if you press A, like, later on. Oh, yeah, if I, like, press, like, so you've seen my... So you've seen my like Y Y Y Y thing, but if I press Y Y X, I do that. And if I press oh, <laughs> give me a second. Do, 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 do. And then if I press Y Y Y and then that, I do a spin attack, which raises me a little. It's a pretty good move. There's a few combinations that I tend to use a lot. Oh, and you see the uh, this place was actually just taken by the enemy forces. Probably just because King Dodongo was in here, just because it's a very big boss enemy. So they're gonna have like a better chance of taking the keep because a boss is in there. Yo, T1. What do you mean, why? How is this different? Oh, yeah. And every enemy and everything will vanish the instant uh, you're done the mission. So, I use this time because people usually talk at the end of a mission. I use this time to, like, very quickly do what I can and rush around looking for materials that... That other people might, like, because other people can kill big enemies as well. It's rarer than you killing them, but they can still kill them. Uh, so you want to just, like, look around for, like... People enemies might have killed and just dropped materials there that I didn't see. That's what I do at least. Uh, There's back spots. I mean, it's just a better model. To be fair, models were very limited back then. And he, I believe he is a tiny bit yellow actually in Ocarina, isn't it? Yeah, so I think a voice acted section is coming up soon. I'll be muting during them because they're very nice to listen to. Uh, on replays of the levels, I won't listen to them. But the Triforce but... is the harmonious union of power, wisdom, and courage. It has been the object of countless battles between the forces of light and dark. Each time the Triforce fell into the clutches of evil, Hyrule was plunged into misery. But in every age, a hero, clad in green, would restore peace to the land. During one of these dark times, the legendary hero split the spirit of evil into four fragments, sealing each away to finally break the cycle of destruction. Three of the fragments were scattered across time and space. The final fragment was sealed in a sacred temple built upon holy ground, imprisoned by the blade of evil's bane. I believe it's ended now. I don't think it continues. There. So, here is... Oh, that's different. Yeah, this game actually is a pretty different story. Uh, by the way, uh, previously I've played Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. That's just like a prequel to Breath of the Wild. It's technically set in an alternate timeline. Um, that's completely different from this game. So if you're looking for like something related to that story, 
this won't have anything to do with that. So, you see the character you played as, which is Link in this case, level 4. Your clear bonus, you get 3,000 rupees for this level specifically. Clear time, you get bonus rupees. KOs, you get bonus rupees. Uh, I just got a bonus of 5,000, I don't remember why. Uh, and then they go into your rupee total, which is the rupees down the bottom. Yeah, they can be spent on various things at the bazaar. So next, you'll see the weapons you picked up. You see I got a weapon pickup. Uh, each weapon has like different abilities, which is strength, strength, attack, IV up. Is this one. Uh, and I got a tree star one, which does bonus damage. Like you see the other one was 80 and this is 104. Quickly hacked because, oh, uh, I don't know. I don't pay enough attention. Uh, each weapon has an element, which is a little orb at the top right of the weapon picture. This is a light type element one. Uh, is that it? No, no. Yes, and you see your materials that you got. Uh, I got a Dodongo claw from killing, obviously, Dodongo. Each, like, thing you get is from certain enemy. Uh, Lazapo scale... Rocks you usually get for killing Gorons. They were bad guy in another mission. I'm assuming an enemy might have killed a Goron and it might have dropped this. Old Rag you get from a number of things. This, this was probably from Bacoblins, actually. Uh, Monster Tooth, Bacoblins. Metal Plate, I think, is also Goron? Maybe it's Lazalfos. Metal Plate might be Lazalfos. Right, and the Skull Pillar. Uh... Each page has 13 illustrations, I think. 5, 10, 15. No, 20, sorry. I write it wrong. Uh, when you complete them, you get a bonus of something. Right, you unlock a bunch of things at the start of the game. I'm going to unlock a lot of these, actually, right now. So, give me a second. Can we get more material? Yes. Yes, you can. Rupees and materials are acquired across scenarios can be used in bazaar for a handful of things. It's gonna bring me bring you through a tutorial. Uh, straighten your wars here for slice of war you'd like to take in in the bazaar. You can go to the badge market. Right, badges are a big thing in this. Badges, there's three different types. Uh, yeah, glowing spaces show you what you can actually get right now, and you see I can get nothing on this level. Uh, each of these actually do give other, like, different bonus stuff. Uh, so this one, it costs one old rag. So the, so the materials are actually important. And 100 rupees. I'm gonna make it, just because it'll annoy me that I don't have it. Uh, and you see, like, the branching path. I now have access to these ones. Uh, it, it, it's a bunch of different things, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, these ones are really cool. Uh, these, this line in particular, these three, they speed up how fast you take keeps. This is a good one to get. All these yet, yes. Uh, I'm supposed to have the items, like the materials and stuff. Uh, oh yeah, and, and this attack tree is more for combos and you can see your special attack gauge, which is the A bar, you can get a third gauge in total. I'm gonna get another Y attack for when I feel like spamming. Right, so out here are a bunch of characters that I'm not actually meant to have yet. Uh, doesn't this- Yes, this is the definitive edition. A version of this game was also released on the DS. 3DS, sorry. Uh, <laughs> and I only have those characters just because I have all the DLC. Because it's the definitive edition. So here you can see special things about the mission. You can see the chapter you're in, which is the prologue. Uh, you can see the difficulty you've beaten it on. In Pan Link right now, because DLC you have... It. Yeah, because the DLC adds in, like, special weapons and stuff. And I think they start with those weapons, so they're technically unlocked. But I'm not going to use them during the story. I'll use them after the story, and they might upgrade them during, but I'm not going to actually use them. I should be basic. I go for Link a lot of times, unless I have to go another character. So I'll probably focus on upgrading Link. 
Uh, you could see, uh, you see the name of it. You see who can get the skull tala. Sometimes there is a certain. You do the more. Yes, yes. I will fight the dango again, and I have a chance of getting more the dango claws. You can see the dango claws wore a. Sorry, just let me go in here. Bizarre, just cause it's quirky. I don't know. Uh, the dango claws. It's a silver item. I believe every boss has a gold item. I'm not 100% sure if every boss has one. Now the training dojo, right? Link is my highest level warrior. Okay. For an example, this third person who I don't know their name of because I'm not going to say their name. And it's not showing up on screen. So yeah. You can upgrade characters. It costs rupees. Uh, up to the level, up to the level that your highest character so let's say link is at level i think the max is 255 is the max level let's say this guy's at level one i can just straight up upgrade this character to level 255 just because of that apothecary you can make special potions as a uh, when you defeat gold skull colors more unlock so this is a weak boost to dropped weapons stars it'll cost 20 materials of any material and 400 rupees, so you can just put in like 20 old rags and it'll work. Uh, Smithy isn't there yet, so don't need to worry about that. Um, what else? Oh yeah, you'll see also playable warriors, by the way, down the bottom there. You're wrong here, I believe. Does every boss not have one? Free mode is just, you can play any level you've done in the story mode, but with any character. Is only an age count. What's the one in this one then? It is a high number in this one as well. Yeah, you can see uh, in most in each stage there'll be two pieces. Like there'll be one heart container. Uh, there's certain types of hearts for every character in each stage. They're just hidden, like very hidden. You have to really try. You have to come back with how power ups you get later and stuff. I, oh, sorry, I'm blind. No, is it? I thought it was higher. No. Maybe I'm- oh, okay, I'm not Okay, uh... Actually, after you beat the game, there becomes a second Skull Tala in each level. Should I explain these yet? Cool, should I explain these modes yet? I can go into the gallery. The gallery just shows you your warriors. Uh, actually, I can look at Link's costumes. Which I don't know how to actually change the costume, by the way. Uh, you view cutscenes, music, illustrations, uh, which are the, uh, they aren't important, let's say no. Well, oh, I'll say yes, but not right now. I'll, I'll do them when I'm actually doing them, because I'm going to do them after the story mode. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm going to be doing them after the story mode. Uh, these are just two different modes I'll get into later. This one's really fun. <laughs> Uh, let's continue on Legend, though. And you see, each level has a recommended type. Uh, you can play with any character that says playable warriors, or just any if you do free mode. Uh, but Impa is a... a wind-type warrior. Well, actually, you see Link has weapons, Hylian Sword, and, and, he, and he has more slots. You can get multiple different types of weapons for different characters. Um... And Impa starts with a wind one. The cloud root. I mean, yeah, I'm not wrong. Uh, I can go to easy mode as well. I just, yeah, it's fine. I'll, I'll go for normal unless I'm having serious trouble with like a. Actually, I should go to bizarre theme. If I'm having serious trouble with stuff. I have more. Ca <laughs> the... Okay. Some characters unlock later. I have no clue why. But trust me, I've I I have played this in my own profile, and I do I, I I have all of the characters you're thinking of. Yeah, and you can see um. You can pick the type of weapon, but it it it, it instantly goes into giant blade because it's the only type of weapon I have for Impa right now. Um, it scales. It says zero of one. I can transfer a skill to it in the smithy. Uh, by doing that, you see I got the skilled strength IV up. An archerous barrel. Link and his comrades slew King Dodongo, but the beast was only ever intended as a distraction. 
the army of monsters had taken Hyrule Castle. Worse, after the dust had settled, Princess Zelda was nowhere to be found. Impa and Link searched the battlefield for any sign of her, but to no avail. Although the battle had been lost, Impa foresaw Link's importance to the coming war. She bestowed upon him a green tunic, the sign of the legendary hero. Link did not believe himself worthy of the honor, but he was determined to help Impa and her remaining soldiers locate Zelda. Weeks passed. Impa heard a rumor that a handful of soldiers were holding out against the monsters in Farron Woods. The leader of this resistance was supposedly a young woman. Impa dared to hope that this unknown woman was Zelda. Link and Impa decided to make their way to the forest by way of the Elven Caves, a path with its own dangers. Yes, I also feel like I'm going to be cut off a lot in the series. What was I saying? <laughs> Shit, what was I saying? I don't remember. You can do a bunch of stuff in this setting, but mainly you can see the map. That is the main thing. Right. You can see, uh, like, one of the weapons I got for Link was, like, Strength, Attack, IV, Up, Plus. Like, Strength, Attack, IV, Plus. If I have one of that, I believe I can put it onto another weapon. Something like that. It, it costs a lot of rupees, I know that. Uh, and you would sell bonus weapons for like swords and like money and stuff. Uh, you see the time limit is 60, so that's an hour. I don't think I'll be spending an hour in any mission, hopefully. Put something OP. I mean, I don't know if it, I don't really remember using it. Oh, uh, there's different paths and keeps. This one has a bunch of rupees. I recommend breaking those if you see them. Because your rupees are... That was such a quick change. Rupees are somewhat uncommon, I guess, in this. Ooh, they can also drop that with your powered up of your currently equipped item or just an item you have. You basically draw huge bombs for a little bit. It's not long. But it's enough to make a difference. Yeah, so you see different items, like, sorry, different enemies appear in every, every level. So you have a ton of missions to get, like... Yay. This proxy? Yes, exactly, this is proxy in this game. Ah, this is a whiz robe. There is a more annoying version of them later on, but we'll get to that later. When an enemy's doing a big attack, just sort of move out the way, because that means they're going to be left open. And you can get, like, their uh, weak point gauge down and do stuff like that. And it's a lot easier to kill them like that. Is hey, listen. Uh, I don't know if it is. Like, I know Proxy speaks for Link. Oh, not over this world. Oh, sorry. Right. Right, 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 right. It is. You, you're correct. I'm being dumb. Uh, Captain a Monster Ridden Keep. Which is the one down at the bottom. So the monster spawning keeps it specifies. Uh, but anyway, whenever you see a boulder like that, explode it, because there could be the, uh, like a life up for you in that chest. I don't know if there is, there mightn't be, but there's a, there's a possibility. I'm so, no, yeah, no, you, you are correct. I, I was mistaken just there. Look, give me a break, I'm explaining so many things right now. Like, when it says immediately, it doesn't... It, it, it doesn't have to be necessarily immediately, it's just... You better do it fast. Uh, but uh, we succeeded there because Link got there before we did. Oh, that's a big boat, yeah. No, no, you are correct. 
Like, I, 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 I didn't have any doubt that you were correct. I just, I made a mistake. That was my problem. Uh, so like the the tiny, like the guys with the small health bars. Uh, like, 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 like this, uh, this guy here. He's not like a targetable big enemy. They don't matter as much as the targetable ones, like the, like the big pole. I never said Wizrope again. Have I always done that? Yeah, they, they, they don't matter that much as the big pole. But they're still, you know, just kill them. They're free materials. Uh, these guys, I don't believe they drop materials, but any, any guy with a health bar should drop materials. Dark horses have appeared. Oh, actually, yeah, on the map. Uh, uh, for the enemies that glow to find light images. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, on the map, I pause here so we can see this. You see in each of the kit, uh, in each of the keeps, and in one of the little hallways, there's like, there's the little pink dots, but then there's like a more red dot. Uh, that is, uh... The, the red dots are enemies you can target. They're big enemies that you'd want to kill. So if you see a lot of red dots in like your main base, you want to hurry to your main base because if your main base falls, you you fail the mission instantly. Um. Oh, actually, and right right in between the text that says Divine Light, uh, you'll see like a red dot. You can see it more there. It's the one talking currently. Uh. Right there is what would be considered a boss. They're they're very strong. They're like Ding the Dango. Some of, like uh, some bosses are weaker. Some bosses are stronger. It just depends on the boss. It's the Dark Wizard. Yes. Uh, it might be. I don't know who's talking. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I I don't pay. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, that is the Dark Wizard. Uh, I but I but I genuinely don't pay attention to the uh, voice boxes that much. So if I do ever miss who's talking, that much. And I believe a. Uh... Wait. Now these bomb chews, any enemies with a health bar will stop them from progressing. But any normal enemies won't stop them. So just kill the big ones around and you can sort of leave the little ones to be. They're not going to really stop it. There's a bubble. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, one, yeah no, once again, I just didn't pay attention. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, right, actually, yeah. This is the thing I forgot you could do. If I open the map, I say command, I can go to Link and I'm like I can tell Link where to go. And like he will like let's say I tell him to go there. Link will then start proceeding towards that location, which he will likely meet up with those big posts uh, that are currently highlighted. You can do that. I don't. I, I don't actually do that quite often. Oh, but I think Link might ignore them. Actually, did I miss the other one? Oh, I did. Shit. Link can handle that one. I'll take this one. Uh. There we go. So there you go, you kill them and then it'll continue. Right, so when when you kill a thousand things, the skull teller will spawn then, by the way. Some skull tellers are uh they are out of reach. Uh I think this one might be by that enemy base that I can't get to, this one. Being, I think it is, so we'll just continue for right now. Like, 
If I don't get them, I'm not that upset about that. It's just, you know, it's just, it's just one collectible. I'll get it probably later. What's our mission? There's an exactly. There's a few missions that I actually do struggle with a little. Uh, I think three missions in total in the game I've ever failed a few times in a row. Oh, hey, the person I wasn't gonna name. Why is Steam opening? What the hell? Close. Three seconds ago? Exactly. Yeah, so we meet up with Sheik, one, uh, someone from the Sheikah tribe. A warrior, specifically, from the Sheikah tribe. Ah, Dark Wizard summon monsters in my, in, like, in the base where I started. I say base, it's not, it's actually not a base. It's just a place. Okay, and in certain bases, like with the, the way there's health in each, there's like art ups and stuff in each thing, you might find them by taking over a base. Couldn't even hit you? No, you can't. <laughs> I know a lot of ways to just sort of cheese enemies. Like, if you dash around with Alphos, uh... If you dash around with Alphos, a lot, a lot of the time they can't hit you. Uh, yeah, so you, you you can get sealed weapons, what? which are just sort of, they could be a brand new weapon, they might be a brand new weapon. Uh -oh. The weapon, ah, basically. Ah, right, summoners. Uh, they spawn just extra enemies, you want to get rid of them. They're pretty annoying. Uh, I mean, they're not, like, the most annoying, but, like, th they summon mobs, and, like, if you let them get out of control, they'll... Right, yeah, but it's very inefficient. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah. The spirit might be able to open the doors. This is the spirit they were talking about. Spirit of the caves. I found it a little bit early. So now, if I'm not mistaken, a few of the doors will open. Ah, yeah. So they can summon a uh, cert. Oh, by the way, in this map, it usually shows you if I go into mission list or current status. Ah, right. So victory conditions is impound link escape. Uh, defeat conditions is usually filled in. It usually says does not let your like main base fall, or it'll say don't let Zelda fall, or don't let Link die. You know what I mean? It'll say what will those boxes will say what will instantly end your mission. There you go. Tunnel gate is open now, and I can actually get to uh, where the skullfellow supposedly is from here. Assault troops, which are actually bigger troops, they will actually like hurt you. Uh, they're advancing, you can see them on the map, like they're the arrows advancing towards Link right now. And yeah, you see, I got myself stuck. 
you want to be careful of doing that. I know I'm not in any fear because I could just switch to Link, but like. Yes, yes, the only word here is like not losing all your characters. Yeah, yeah. Or Sheik Specialist? I wonder too. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Assault troops are just like bigger. Ow. Rude. Assault troops are just stronger variants of like enemies with health bars. No, she switched characters? Yeah. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> Serverless office and then Beagle's office, yeah. Yeah, so you see side mission is cap capture the crystal cave, which is this place. Uh, now, if an assault troop is actually coming by here, it's a very good time to sort of... Uh, apparently... Oh man, I'm just mistaken. I swear I thought the assault troop was coming here. Oh no, it changed direction. I knew it was coming here. So yeah, side missions will usually yield some reward. Oh, and you see Link can only open this chest. Uh, I want to switch to Link then. Oh yeah, if I hold... What does it say to hold? Yeah, if I press the like D-pad, it'll change what I can do. I need to remember to go to that area with Link. Like, can you have a bigger pole? I don't think it works like that, but hey, that would be cool. Yeah, and you see if, like, if an enemy's in range of you attacking someone else with a special move, it'll also get hit. Even with, like, another enemy's weak point move. So my recommends just got some wiped out summon? I don't recall. Oh hey, Impa's out of the thing. I can like look for the skull puller now. Yeah, but like look for the skull puller if you have time. If not, just focus. Whoops, wrong way. Because that can happen. You can actually start going the wrong way. So this guy is Wizro. He is a twisted wi whiz robe, specifically. Go find a skull color during diet. Exactly. And there we go, we got a piece of heart for Link. You- I- I believe your characters in this game get like three rows of heart, actually. You get like an insane amount of health. Uh, I'm actually gonna command... Uh, no, no, Link to go here, and uh, actually no, I want to put them. I want to put them on the Wizro specifically, because you can have them target specific people. Exactly. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly why I thought that. I didn't want to spoil it. I didn't want to like, say, oh yeah, no, Wizrope is this guy. Is this really nothing? Oh, I have an idea. Wait. Go away. Ah, here. Oh yeah, so I could have gotten that the whole time, by the way. Where's Wizro? There's Wizro. Hello, buddy. 
Now, if a boss enemy shows up with a cutscene, you do want to focus on them, because they give a boss item, which is rare. Uh, but, like, don't, don't fail the mission because of it. Yeah, exactly. But, like, because there's no specific... Like, I don't have a base that can fall and I'll fail. So I can just focus on doing whatever I want. Like, I can ignore enemies taking over bases. And usually for killing bosses, you get good level ups. And I just got a silver item, you can see, because the bag actually changed color. I didn't say corrupted. When did I say corrupted? Okay, this technically does damage to enemies when you're... Oh, right, when you're in this phase, if an enemy's guarding, you can break their guards, like, instantly. It costs nothing. Whoops. And that's the thing that happens if your uh, thing runs out. You can see that bomb too continued, but I don't. Yeah, this bomb won't continue because you can see the just the mass of enemies around this bomb too is just insane. Oh, you see, Elizabeth dropped a silver item for me. Now, uh, you know the way I killed that boss and he sort of laid on the floor for a second? Um, sometimes you won't actually, the boss won't vanish immediately. So you have to remember where you killed that guy and check at the end of the mission. If it's still there or like just as you're passing. Because sometimes the boss won't immediately vanish and leave their item. They might be there until, because you see on the bottom that people are talking. So... I, like, as you see, I killed the Spirit of the Caves before it even fed, um, defeat the Spirit of the Caves. The mission will go in, like, a timer. Like, at this point, this will happen. And if you do it faster, the game, like, it still has to say, um... It still has to say, defeat this person. Or else, like, it just won't change. So I'm gonna have a look around, because all the enemies aren't technically gone, but I believe it's the end of the mission. See, and this is what you check, because see, this is a material that I didn't get. Oh, keep in mind, if the mission ends, you can't actually jump down these. So you'd want to jump down these before. Wait, do I actually have to... Wait, do I actually have to meet them there? I might. Let me just run there. Or else when Impa gets there, it might just end, maybe... despawn it. No, if I'm correct, materials don't actually despawn. Oh, I didn't have to meet them okay. Materials just lay there unle until they're collected or they despawn it, like when you finish the mission. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh god, am I gonna make it to this one? But yeah. It is harder to see with the victory on the screen, but you can still pick stuff up. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, and who you're actually playing as when the mission ends depends on the, like, end screen. I win! You know what I mean?
Uh, it'll, it'll show the character you picked when you started the mission. So I see the money. Right, a fire rod. That's Link's weapon. That's a fire type weapon for Link. Uh, uh, ignore, ignore, ignore. Impa got two giant knives. Going along just that pose. Yes. Uh, I got two silver Lizalfos items. I got your man's robe. Uh, three nexus, scale, blah, blah. I won't, I, won't, I won't call those out every time. I'll just pull a cool one. Oh, God. My dad just sneezed. Uh, what's this one? Oh, yeah. You guys, robe. It's, it, it, it's just an upgrade material. I don't know for who, but... It's an upgrade material for someone. Don't see the point. I mean, it depends what's used for. It's not used on Link. Oh, uh, it's used for Impa. Impa's level two is in the defensive. Yeah. And Impa's level two is in. Uh, well, her for wars win too. Magic. Upgrade materials are used by just, like, everyone. Like, so many people use them. I should probably upgrade Sheik a tiny bit. At least just her... His... Actually, I believe Sheik is a he. Sealed weapon. The sealed weapon was, uh... Was the fire rod. It just doesn't tell you what it is. And then you can upgrade a character like that. I just... I don't usually do that. But some some levels you do actually have to switch characters, like have to switch characters. Uh I so yeah, Link has two types of weapons. Now the Hylian swords and the magic rods. Now, you see the fire rod. Each weapon I think actually has three or four forms. This is its base form. It gets a different form, and with that form it's stronger. Link and his allies were saved from the dangers of the Elven Caves by a mysterious youth named Sheik. Joined by their new ally, Impa's troops exited the caves and emerged in Faerun Woods. There, they found a hidden village overrun with monsters. While Link and Impa wanted to continue their search for Zelda, they could not ignore the plight of the villagers. Without hesitation, they sprang into battle. That's it for that write-up. Like, they're not all huge write-ups. Like, yeah. Right, so as you can see, in the center of the map, there is the main base. Clearly dagger tree? Yes. At the center of the map, there is the main base. And there's a little symbol in there. Which, we don't actually know what it is yet. So I'm not going to say it. Uh, current status. If Lana flees, or the Deku tree falls. The Deku tree is our main base. Those are the two things that will instantly end our mission. Is if either of those happen. By the way, you'll see enemies from every Zelda game in this. In case y'all were wondering. This is just like a huge every timeline sort of game. Put some Final Fantasy in my Herald Warriors. I should really like Lana, La, like Lana's uh, storyline. You really want it? Well, help me defend the fort. No, I'm not telling. We're like, wait, wait, tell us now. Right, so Link has different uh, attacks with every type of weapon, so does every other character, with different types of weapons. Just sort of happens. I 
can do that. That's my, like, X times three thing. Right. That should actually still put I don't know. Right, so. This is, this is a very annoying roadblock. Uh, Deku Babas. You can't hit them. Except for something with ranged and that has a very big point. No, I can't hit them. See? <laughs> Link, don't you usually have a bow? Uh, I'm looking around on the map, actually. Find the bow and arrows in the settlement. Can you burn it? Yeah, you're in danger because you keep running towards freaking. Uh, watch what call it, dudes. Right, so if a character's in danger and you get within that green circle, you refill all their health. It's really good to do if you're just running by and you see someone. That's some No, no, I know that. I know that. Still haven't found the bow just yet. Might actually do I do I actually find the bow? Victory sound. Yeah, okay, I thought. So you'll see over here there's another person. I wanted to run over here, I just wasn't sure. But I believe if you have an outpost, it'll instantly like It'll constantly, but like not like super fast, but it'll flow out just enemy like it'll it'll constantly spawn allies, but not like not fast. I agree, we do that one. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. So yeah, you switch to the bow like any other thing, and with the bow you can. Instantly kill Deku Bombs. Deku Bombs are less an enemy and more just like a roadblock, by the way. Yeah, I didn't think that would work, but just in case. Three remain. Technically, two remain. There we go. Ooh, an item. And boop. There we go. See? And then that's how that works. So yeah, I decided to do this instead of Elden Ring, just because, um... Actually, what's this one? Oh hey, a fire dragon! That doesn't deal damage to like strong enemies, but like not as much. Oh, that actually does happen. You can get frozen. Game was trouble catching up. Yeah, that's gonna happen a lot. Oh hey, you can also upgrade your arrows. They did they then do this. Which is pretty cool. We're spawning us over the dead? Oh yeah, 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 they've spawned in like every mission so far. Beat the give dope forces, I know. This is where range range stuff like this sort of weapon is very handy. Except for when that happens. I 
I don't mean to do that. Oh, get over there. Yeah, so there's a golden circle around enemies when the weak point there explodes. Violet like Princess, who dead? I dead. I hope. I don't. I don't know. This level seems like quite a princess theme, so yes. Okay. So let me just run to Lana here. I'll do this because there's a few guys with bars here. Now here, if I go in here, you'll see this stack that looks like an owl. Uh, you can't actually activate it yet. Focus on that later though. You got it. And hello random, how you doing? Sorry, I'm, I'm, I missed your message because I was focusing. Give this whole giant, I don't even. Just there, grad school. Ooh, I don't know what grad school is, I'm not gonna lie. Probably call it something different. Oh, I know where this is. I know where the skull pill is immediately. Yeah, I, yeah, I broke a rock there earlier in the level. We got fast with Thank you so much. Uh, make it fast. That's yeah. That's I don't know. They might just lack speed. Who knows? Oh, I could have turned and hit all three there, but... Mm. Yeah, no, but how are you doing, Random? It's been, a, it's been a bit since you've been on stream, actually. I don't mean that in, like, any offensive way. I'm just saying, how you doing, basically. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I thought that was... Whoops. I hit by the poison. You good, that's good, that's good. Lovely thing, you know. Well, talking to you know. No. And I, um. Oh, me... Yes, actually. A lot of enemies in this game friendly fire. I mean, it makes sense. Like. A little overwhelmed with having fun. But at least you're having fun. Don't, like, overwork yourself. Because I did that at the start in college. Uh, like, I know something. Thing, but like I remember at the start of like my first college year I was working super hard like I was I was getting like I was working like so many hours a day just do like just doing normal and like the same stuff but like I got so my journey now work oh wow that's I, that's really good what the hell is the job uh and I got so overwhelmed and I like I now sort of like at the end of the second year I I didn't want to do anything because I worked so hard at the start. Right, so this was added with the DLC. The Ocarina. It is a new item added with the DLC. It might have been in the DS one. Uh, I don't know what Ren Fair is, I'm not gonna lie to you. So with an owl statue activated, if I use the Ocarina. I can pick one on the map, there's only one on this map, and I can teleport there. So the Decker tree was now lit on fire by an enemy spell. Yeah, these, uh, there's usually elf statues in your main base. Shoot that, you'll get an SP pull, or like an SP up. And for that, that's insane. Good job. Find the great fairy. Mm, yes. Make a rain or something cool. Stop doing something. Uh, 
after the... Oh, okay. There, it opened. I wish I knew that before I ran all the way over here. Stop what? That's... 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 Li like, like, I know you didn't do it on purpose. I'm only messing. But that's literally the whole plot of this mission. Is that's what you do. You get the Great Fairy to make it uh, stop. Uh, I'm gonna focus on these Gibdos a little. They're a bit of a threat currently. sense yeah i know i know what you mean that's why i wasn't like curious about telling you no but i was like oh, no. where'd it go okay damn it hey, read that's fine man don't worry about it the silver pouch the super new tree what no didn't need set fire if I were I wanna yeah he that Link defeated good day. Hurry up I'm like trying to focus Very fountain's open go 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 Hey there's a cuckoo in here don't hit that a lot, by the way. With the game stars to fly. You hit a cuckoo enough. There's three factions in this game. The blue one, which is you. The red one, which is the main enemy. And the yellow ones, which are optional enemies. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Optional enemies happen sometimes. I mean, yellow ones happen if you're playing as bad guys, because then your troops will be red. That happens later on in the game. Um, if you attack that cocoon up, cocoons will start attacking, like, all over the map. Like, genuinely. Uh, back to Alex, at you. Who's an optional enemy? Yes, Cuckoo is an optional enemy. Yeah, yeah, if you attack enough, like, like what happens if you attack it in like a normal Zelda game, it'll start attacking you, guys. As you can see, that one Cuckoo is a yellow dot on the top right corner of the map. These worms are wriggling more than I expected. Yeah, sometimes it happens where if you get to an enemy before it should activate, you do mess up that enemy a little. Hence what I just did with that give though. Now, I'm actually not going to do that immediately. Uh, one, because I need to do this. Hello. Do we have to knock too quick? I mean, the thing is, Cocoon also attack bad guys. That's the thing. But I'm going to get these when I see them. 
but I'm not going to necessarily go out of my way. Uh, unless I see something like genuinely interesting, like I want to go down the bottom of the map right now because I see like an interesting, ver like usually when things are out of the way and the game doesn't really bring you to them through the story. Uh, like down here, this is very out of the way. Uh, and if the game doesn't like make a point of you coming here, there's usually something hidden here. Damage enemies. Oh, I think so. If I'm thinking down here, there might be a chest. No, I'm in bombs. Damn it for Cheek. Cheek's all the way up there. Let me. Let me switch to Cheek. I was just starting watching it before. No, I don't believe it hurts enemies, at least. I mean, it looks like it would, so maybe. I don't, know. I don't think so. The tree. No, like, like each character has your stuff. Like, there we go. We got a full heart container for cheap. I'll put you there, help you along. I don't know if they, I don't know if enemies can interrupt you out of that. They probably can. Now I am going to command link. But like they might do this anyway, but just in case they don't. I'm gonna command them to do it. I don't usually come like use the command feature, so I'm gonna get used to that as like as we play. Oh, we sort of left the battlefield. Oh. oh, yo! I just we have every base on the map except one outpost and uh, like and this base. Ah, uh, in a lot of the missions, yes. No Gomel spawns. That's a fun one. Goma is weak when her eye is there. So her eye is red most of the time, but then there's times when it's blue. Which watch, see it's red now. You're right. No, it's fine. It doesn't look enough. When she shoots something, it becomes blue. If you shoot it with an arrow when it's blue, you'll want to do that basically. I don't know her weak like weak point breaking attacks more like there's certain attacks that break a weak point more i know link's usual sword ones but i don't know his fire rod one so i'm gonna test that out try the bow it actually doesn't really do much except for stunning her the items, like you, your items, like your bow and stuff, you don't really use them much for fighting, like, to be honest. They're more used for just either stunning or something. You don't really use them for main fight, like, fights. I was about to say, she's neat.
Yeah, so Golma goes into your middle one. Like, there are saboteurs around the map right now, which uh, I'm actually going to command Impa to the Keep Saboteur and Sheep. I believe Keep Saboteur, they will like just actually destroy a keep if they get there. And like, uh, and, and like, I mean instantly destroy a keep as well, not like what did it mean I changed characters? No. Yeah, you see, it says it helped in, it needs help immediately, but it still has tons of health left. It, it says that a lot. <laughs> when it doesn't need help, even. Oh, hey, that's the, uh, that's the attack if it runs out, apparently. I don't know that. Bro, stop spitting. Just heal him. Now, I believe if you could... Actually, it, it looks like if you command your guys to fight someone, they'll do actually, like, good damage. Uh, no, it did not turn into the ghost bellies. Goma is dead. And see, now every, like, sometimes it might be better, like, the way, like, it's said to go after the Keep Saboteur, but, like, I got that mission done, uh, by just focusing on Goma, but sometimes it's better to just sort of focus on the main mission, like, if you think you will get it done before the side person, like, oh. Like, to keep saboteurs, if you think you'll get the main thing done, it it's better to focus on the main thing. For eye or some... What color was it? Does, did, did you know what color it was? For generations, Hyroleans have told the tale of the war across the ages. This is how it begins. Deep in the forests, far from mortal eyes, a great sorceress watched over the balance of the Triforce. Through her magic, she could see across ages able to read the fates of all who lived, but never interfering. That is, until a unique soul caught her attention. The soul of the hero of legend, eternally reborn when Hyrule's need is greatest. Through her powers, the sorceress should have seen that the hero was bound to another. Instead, she saw only a soul that was unlike any she had known. And while the sorceress was preoccupied, a fragment of darkness locked in its prison, saw an opportunity. The whispering darkness wormed its way into her heart. It pushed the light away and warped her curiosity into a desperate desire to possess the legendary hero's soul. Of course, this evil had its own desires. To use the Triforce to resurrect itself and conquer Hyrule once again. Having pushed the light from her heart, 
The darkness compelled her to open the gate of souls, the doorway of time itself. Monsters from across the ages pour through the gate, bringing ruin to the land of Hyrule once more. So like I said, this is basically all the Zelda timelines just mashed into one game. Uh, I think, like, I like that, like, stuff's nice, but I don't know, I don't like it that much. Uh, have you given up? Ah, we got Goma's Acid. Fun tribute, yeah. Right, the Bazaar has leveled up potions, get more effective, and more mixtures are available. Now this is Linkle's tale, which is a which is like a side story. You usually side stories are like off the main path, which is this path. Uh, I'll do the side stories after the game is like after we finish the main game. That's when I'll do the side stories. That's really cool. Well, yeah, but like it steals art from what it, from wherever it can find it. Yeah, so Smithy. Yeah, yeah. Let me have the that would be great. Uh, you can sell weapons, like let's say. Yeah, see, I have three fire rods. I'd of course keep the one with the highest uh, thing. I, I'd of course keep the one with the highest thing. Using algorithms. Oh, okay, well, that one doesn't, but I know a lot of them actually do. Like, a lot of them, like, basically search. I don't want to say search the internet, but, like... Right, oh yeah, so if you select a base weapon, let's say this one. Then I can say select a source weapon, and I'll do this one. And do that? Yeah, okay, that's how that works. And see, and I can put that ability onto the new weapon. The bad fever. Oh god. Sorry for my mind. Uh, I don't want you to do anything. Uh, you actually can't send links, by the way. Uh, you can also just remove skills straight up all things. It costs 30,000 rupees though, which is insane. Uh, I think, you know, you could sell stuff. This is the prompt. Really funny. Yeah, and see, you could, like, sell weapons. And they, like, they sell for quite a lot. Like, especially with how many you get. Like, just sell out until you have one of that type of weapon. Because you don't need more than one. You can't use more than one. So see, I, I unlocked more things, and see, I need five silver items for this one. Which would be nearly all of them. And see the potion in my bottle now, it used to be a red potion, which just does health. Uh, but now it does five hearts and special attack gauge. Which, you know, it's better. God, what do I need for you? Damn, man. Let's start with, uh, I will like I will upgrade Link more than uh, the usual like characters I like than I would you know what I mean. He just has more to offer. Yes, I know it is. It is indeed. I usually put the Furore's Wind onto each character, by the way, just because... You know. It 
it's a good ability to, to have on them. Oh, actually, uh, let me go back to the main menu. This mode is actually where you unlock most of the different, like, is where you unlock most of the... Who the hell is level 11? The metal plate? Don't worry about it. Uh... God, Sheik is four. Let me upgrade you. Same time. Uh, Book of Sorcery. There we go. The leader of the resistance in Farron Woods was a young sorceress named Lana. She was of the same clan as Sia, who had summoned the monsters to Hyrule. Lana had been fighting Sia's army since it arrived. Sia now sought to complete the Triforce and use it to conquer Hyrule. Link and Impa decided to join forces with Lana to prevent further tragedy. Although the monsters of Farron Woods had been defeated, Sia still controlled most of Hyrule. Every day, more creatures appeared and swarmed the land. Link and Impa fought on against the darkness sorely missing Zelda's leadership. Only one solution remained. Stem the tide of monsters by closing the Gate of Souls. The heroes headed to the Valley of Seers to put an end to the bloodshed. And we're back. Uh, right, so current status. If the allied base falls, which is the one down on the bottom, usually you're on either side, so if you're on the bottom, the enemy's on the top, etc, etc. Usually. Yeah, no, but D, how you doing anyway? What you been up to? <laughs> I love, I, can I say, I love the way Lana runs with like a skip. She's like, da 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 da. I have to go to a keep and it's like um I like so you see the two on the map, they're two green ones I gotta go to. If there's like a keep on the way, I would usually capture that one as well. It's just because like Oh yeah! If the Beemos is in a base, you want to destroy it, because when you take over the base, it will like the Beemos will like decimate your troops. There's a one shot at Garrett, no? Insane, okay. Actually, question, you, you guys know like skull colors and stuff and the like heart pieces and stuff? Actually, his fight's going pretty well, it's going pretty well. Not doing too bad. I, I will skip those chest cuts and stuff because they're not important. Uh, be Volga? Was Volga? Oh, I, th I think I see where Volga is. Volga, you there, bud? Ah, yeah, you are. Hello. Oh yeah, chest. I mean, a uh, material bag. A lightning power! Can't <laughs> right now? Oh nice. Go play with your cat though. Whoa, there we go. 
Usually enemies like this guy will run eventually, by the way, hence why I was like really focusing on him. Okay, Volga still hasn't ran, so let me just... <laughs> stop. Stop making me. Stop making me. <laughs> stop. You need a high speed cooler. Um. I'm not gonna have much sure. I'm very bad when it comes to computers. <laughs> like, like genuinely, I am very bad when it comes to computers. Like, I know a lot about them, but like the technical stuff of like which CPU is better. And that sort of stuff, I, I, I'm very bad when it comes to that. Ah, the vines, I've got those. Good link to you don't need to. You don't need to, don't worry, please. Ah, Volga vanished. I'm oh, sorry, Vivol... V whatever his name is. Vivolga. Vivolgia. Whatever his name is. The big dragon dude. Oh yeah, I just got like two weapons, didn't I? Face kind of up, uh, maybe stop there. I can't imagine this computer cap to be doing. like that name. Just grab the photos I got that place. What do you mean you blocked that? Nice slip wrap. You got it. The stuff you think of, I swear. I want to, I want to command a uh, link to sort of stay in the main base, just in case I need him there. You know what I mean, just like, just, like, just in case, a bit of safety inside. I probably should have sent uh, Sheik or someone, someone who's not like story important, but like... Actually, yeah. Let's send like Sheik. Uh, Link. Let's do that. Okay, let's do Yes, okay. Ah, 
there's vines. Okay. Oh, but I should what they were called. I wish if they were like tendrils or what. Or whatnot, you know what I mean? Put down the vine wall and get to the snap. Let me just... Let me see. Just the troublemaker? Ah... Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll look at that later. Can you just get rid of the summoner right now? And call powerful units one after another? Yeah, I call some. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. Get rid of these guys as fast as I can. Okay. You dead? Oh, okay. an interesting game to play today. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, we got one power spot. Yeah, I can imagine. West Ruins is about to fall. Oh yeah, it looks like it. Jesus. Oh, the Dagna? Yeah, there's a ton of enemies in there. It does, maybe not. Cool. <laughs> Might just be able to get through this. Yeah, no, you don't need a prime or stuff like that. Uh, command link to go. Uh, I'll also command info to go here. I'll let Alana do whatever she wants. Probably not that. Oh, go. Did you get banned? Yeah, I could tell these guys were gonna go for the main base, so I was like, yeah, I better change. Oh, there's so many. I'm just gonna let them sort of gang up here. Because uh, Sheik's one is in a circle. So I just sort of want to get them all in one area. Oh yeah, when you get a level up, by the way, your, uh, your like, ability resets. So you can just do it immediately. Command La uh, Sheik to go uh, here into West Runes. I'm gonna command Lana to go. No, I'm gonna command Lana to go. Does that work? West Key. Yeah, there we Yellow pots give you a uh, like an SP bar. 
Ken isn't supposed to break golf. <laughs> oh, yeah. I could sort of just wait a bit because I don't believe the mission actually progresses until you open that chest. Let me just do this stuff. Ah, uh, command P to go to this base. East Keep. Uh, I'll keep Lana at the ready here. No, the ghost still kind of fled. Oh, I was just about to come over and get the gold skull color as well. Like, like just. There you go. Open the chest. You got the boomerang. I was I was gonna command some people just this. Yeah, so Sia holds the drive force of uh, wisdom. I mean, uh, power. Sorry, not wisdom. Uh, I'm going to send Eek as well. All the way down to the Allied base, because I see people starting to move to the Allied base. I'll send Impa to this one, the East Keep. While I focus on it. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't. Oh, why did Link take the fire rod? Interesting. Ah, right. So, Manhandler is the next, uh, main, I say main boss. The next boss in, like, a level. Yeah, Manhandler mounted a seed attack on the, uh, the main base. Is that the worst? Skipping cutscenes. I haven't skipped any cutscene. Cool. Except the like chest opening ones. I didn't. I didn't skip any of those. Oh, have I been skipping them? Oh, it's not right. I will try to remember not to. Yeah, so if multiple uh, fighters get within range of a boss, apparently it will get stronger. I don't know why. I mean, good to know, I suppose. We need to do more to your plan. Hey, it actually worked. Perfectly damaged. I don't know. 
You know, I like actually I've always been curious about that actually. There we go. The first main attack. Wow, that did not be nice. What do you mean? I was definitely close enough. Obviously, point on this. Yeah, fair. This is in danger. Oh, no. Bro, I hit three out of the four heads. Are you serious? What, with two characters? No, no, it's not. It's just, like... <laughs> it's just sometimes the boomerang doesn't go off. That's the thing. I've never done that. Right. I should probably that. Just to keep the dark notes busy so I don't go to the main base, I'm gonna... I just noticed I'm no one help. Got that. <laughs> okay, I was wondering if that's all you need to do to kill them, and I wasn't sure. Maybe it is meant to be defeated by, like... Uh... Most of people... I've never done that. Who's the closest? Who's yellow? Info. Go up to the ruin summit. If you get there, I will capture it. If not, I won't. It'll be easier. It's fine. We don't have like that long left in fighting it anyway. Do that. Get a little bit more off of this. Oh, I hit three. Uh, apparently, I hit four. Whatever. Uh, it's sad. Oh, I move really close. To me. Just because it's really close, and I would like to check what this treasure is, I'm gonna come here and just quickly take this key. Has to be sheep. Where's she? Oh, sheep is all the way down the bottom of the map. I'm not doing that. Like sheep, like sheep is literally all the way down the bottom of the map. Like the sheep is the one protecting the allied base right now. Because you know, I always put someone down the allied base. Oh, that's the end of the mission. I can't believe they can actually make you miss a. Uh,
like miss a boss's item because they do just leave it there. Wow, that's a fast one. Hey, Sheik, open up that chest that I left up there. Like, now. <laughs> Get to that later in the game to ignore the lack of two enemies. Where the eyes glow. I haven't played this game in so long. Sia had already claimed the Triforce of Power. From Link, she stole the Triforce of Courage. The Triforce of Wisdom was the birthright of the royal family of Hyrule. Yet she bore it when Sia attacked. Once Sia possessed all the pieces of the Triforce, she used its incredible power to bend time and space and open doorways through the ages. Portals to three eras appeared. Lana explained to the others that a gate of souls had been opened in each of these eras, and it was through these gates that the monsters came. By opening these gates, Sia had released a fragment of evil spirit imprisoned in each of the other eras. The task before the heroes was therefore to travel through each portal and close its gate. Once all the gates were closed, they could begin repairing the damage Sia had inflicted on their land. With time growing short, Link and his allies split up to handle all three gates simultaneously. They each vowed to close their gate and return safely. That is the end of the mission. Uh, you got the Deku Spear, which is a new weapon for Lana. Ignore half of these weapons. No two enemies. Oh no, they're later in the game. 
Yeah, so next, our, uh, our missions actually branch off into three different tasks that we all... <laughs> and, like, you do have to do each of them, by the way. So, yeah, everyone, I'll see y'all uh, next time for the next part of this uh, playthrough. We got further than I expected, not gonna lie. Anyway, see y'all then. Bye, guys. Bye.